Russ and Russ. Ginny. Um, anyways, I really like, I'm on edge a bit. Russ. Russ would like. Go in the coffee shop. What? Did you think when I was talking that I was interjecting into your oh, actual conversation? You know what I do? What? Tune you out. Chip, okay, it babe. really looks cute. <laughs> How long can you go with me saying things that have nothing to do Baby, with the Baby, it's my life. That is and the story keep... of my life with you. It! It's gonna be a perfect blend. Chip, I don't get scared like you. Arf! As far as demo, really, is that all you have? Arf! 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 <laughs> don't, Joey. Don't. <laughs> Are you two ready to see your picture upper? Let's I'm go. ready. All right, let's do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo. Welcome home, guys. <laughs> Are you two knuckleheads ready to check out your fixer upper? We're ready. All right, here we go. Wow. I that love is it. So much better. I love it. Oh, this is awesome. Welcome home, Jake. I'm really blown away. I love it. Are y'all ready to see your fixer upper? Yes. 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 I love this room. It's great. Beautiful. You guys ready to check out your fixer upper? We're yeah, ready. We are ready. You guys ready to check out your fixer upper? We're yeah, ready. We are ready. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow!
when I'm doing open shelvings, a trick that I like to use is using a grid that goes in a diagonal form. So you start here, you've got this grid of glass going this way, and then you've got books going this way. It's a simple trick I use on all built-ins. It's a way to balance things out, but it's also just an effortless way to help in design. The master suite was just a special room to do because our clients really needed this space. They actually only had one bathroom that they shared with guests, so it was really important to us that they had plenty of room, not only in their master bedroom, but that we could create a lot of room in their new master bath. And here I wanted a lot of texture, but I wanted it light and airy, so I chose the board on bat walls, painted them white, but it still feels super cozy in here, like a retreat. When designing the master suite for the Ferguson family, we had to make the most of the limited floor plan. And the best way to invigorate a small space is by paying close attention to the details. My client really loves marble and she wanted it everywhere in her bathroom. So I thought if we're gonna do all of the same surface, why not do a play on pattern? So on the floor, as you see, we did a herringbone pattern. On the wall and on this arch, we did a brick pattern. And then if you look here in the shower, same material, but it's just a play on pattern. I feel like we've created a beautiful bathroom for these clients. It's stunning, but there's also great statement pieces that really set it apart. Let's go check out the master bedroom. Since the client really wanted a large master bathroom, it really cut into the size of the master bedroom. I was really intentional about the way that the floor laid, whether it go horizontal or vertical. I really wanted this room to feel longer than it really is. And even with the diamond pattern on the wall, it really elongates the wall. It makes the room feel higher and taller than it really is. This was a large house, but there was a lot of fun design elements that we got to play with. I really enjoyed working on this one. Originally, this room was really tight. It was small and it was narrow and it felt dark and dated. So the first thing I wanted to do was add more lighting, more recess lighting, but also more natural light with the addition of the new French doors. But what I really wanted to tackle was just the idea that this space didn't really have a story. It was somewhat plain and simple, so I wanted to give it a little more character. The yielding project was a really fun project to tackle. Originally, the house was really closed in. There were a lot of walls, and my clients really wanted an open space. So what we ended up doing here in the kitchen was we removed the wall right when you walk into the foyer. So we opened up that space. We took the kitchen and the breakfast nook and combined it and made it one really One of the updates I really love in this space are these built-ins. Originally, these were flat paneled, doors that just had no character to them. And then down here was an AC vent. So it was really dark cabinets with a white AC vent and it really stuck out like a sore thumb. We ended up removing all the doors, just painting the cabinet. And the key here is to keep it simple so it doesn't look cluttery. For more great ideas, go to HGTV.com. When designing the living room for the Ferguson family, I created the open concept that they asked for and made distinctive cosmetic updates to the room so it matched their style and their needs. So originally in the space, there were really thin columns and then just some white railing. And I really wanted to beef the columns up, make them more substantial, a little more formal. So we removed the railing altogether to really open up the space and then trimmed out the existing columns. This originally was a set of French doors that led out to the sunroom. Now we've created this double-sided fireplace, put some really pretty quartzite here, and then did a really pretty trim around it to make it have a clean but pretty elegant look. Over here with the stairs, you know, they had the dated railing, so we removed the existing railing. We just came back with a really clean, simple railing, but I just think the blend of the white, the natural, really pretty wood mixed with the gray trim, you know, it ties in now to the updates of the house. When designing with the coastal theme for the Armoyan project, I didn't want to go too literal with it. So I used simple, thoughtful details to tie it all together and keep the design relaxed and calming, not overwhelming. I really love how quaint and cozy it is in here. The color on the walls I decided to use was a lighter blue-gray tone, but it still has that fresh, clean way about it. When you're trying to carry on a theme, you can keep it subtle. We have the sand and these really cool hurricane jars. Fun little glass things with seashells. My client loves shells. The lamps with the rope, but also this driftwood that we found. 
um, here in Waco. It's stuff like this that I think even though we're in Texas, you can still have what you want. Let's check out the master bathroom. I really like this bathroom because it's not overbearing. There's a lot of texture going on and a lot of dimension, but it's not too much. I love these fun pendant lights that we chose, these rotating mirrors. We use a really light palette in here, softer gray on the floor. One of the things I love the most in this bathroom is this new shower that we got for our clients. We've got this really cool basket weave on the wall and then we have these fun pebbles on the floor. We've made their shower twice as big, but with this glass and all this texture, I just really feel like it makes a huge statement in this bathroom. The Zan family home needed a total renovation, but one thing we did not need to fix was the beautiful view. The scenery outside of this home inspired my design throughout the home, especially the main living space. One of the things I love about this room is just how wide open it is and how simple the colors are. There's contrast, but it's really clean because really when you look out every window, there's just a beautiful view and I didn't want what was going on in here competing with what you see outside the window. So as you can see, we trimmed out all the windows and the doors with really over here in the living room, I just really love how it's kind of the anchor of this room. It's really symmetrical, it's clean, it's classic. Again, it focuses on what's beyond these walls, which is the view in the backyard. Come check out the dining room. You know, I was really strategic about where I placed the dining room in this new layout. It's front and center, it's under this really cool chandelier, and then the backdrop is this amazing open kitchen. But what I love about this table is my client said this is where she would eat when she was a little kid at her granddad's table, and so the fact that we got to restore it put it back in this house, I think it was really meaningful to our clients. You know, I really think one of the most important things about a home is the first impression, the curb appeal. You know, in this case, we had a really long, dated, ranch-style house. So the challenge was updating this house, but also drawing it out so it didn't seem just like a really long house. So a few of the things I played with was the landscape. I really wanted to give it a fresh, pop a color, but I also wanted to keep it simple for the client. I used a variety of grasses, but I also chose this little rock pathway, which obviously is very low maintenance, but it also adds texture to the landscape that I think really makes it pop. One of my favorite things we did on this porch was really draw it out. And one of the things I really wanted to do was really beef up these columns. So we added a rock skirt, this great concrete ledge, and then these really pretty cedar posts. The key is that your eye goes to the center of the house, which is the porch. And I think all these elements really brought this home alive. You know, I really think it added a substantial amount of curb appeal. And I really feel like now this house is set apart. The Downs home is over 100 years old, so I wanted to create a very classic design that didn't take away from the original character, but also blend that with some modern touches. Over here in the dining room, this is the grand room to me. I mean, we have this really large chandelier. I like to do light fixtures that make a statement, and I really feel like this light fixture is bold, pairs well with this beautiful table that Clint made. But another thing we did is just play off all the natural light that comes in. We added a really cool window seat um, to just make function more in the space. They wanted more seating in here, so that was just a natural way to add it. Now onto the kitchen. They like the idea of blue cabinets, um, so we did lower cabinets that are blue. There's still a really classic way about this kitchen. We have the subway tile that they wanted, the really beautiful Carrera marble. And then he got his stainless farm sink, which is something that he really wanted. I think this kitchen is fun because there's a lot of mix and match going on. You've got a, a mix of metals, you've got some brass, you've got some stainless. We also did a really fun play on color. So I feel like when you see this kitchen, it's just packed with character. The kitchen is the heart of the home and often serves many purposes for a young family. When designing this kitchen for the Fergusons, I wanted to create a space that was both beautiful and functional for the day to day. When you walk into the kitchen, my your children, and so I really wanted to create a nice flow in here. I wanted to design two cabinets in the kitchen that are almost like a hutch. She collects really pretty dishes, and I know with anyone that collects dishes, they want to display them, so I wanted to incorporate that in the kitchen design, and I think this is really elegant, it's pretty, it's simple, but her china and her dishes still really pop. You know, I think a lot of people get scared at the idea of mixing metals in the kitchen, so just have fun with it. 
home. It's really finding pieces you love and implementing them in your home. You know, I try to design my clients' homes to be a reflection of their style and personality. When you're designing for two people with very different tastes, as in the case of the Whites, it can get a little tricky. I would say the entryway was the most challenging part in this house because I really wanted them to walk in and feel like it was reflective of both of them. So I needed to blend both of their styles. Traditional style with rustic style. I added this chair wheel here that has a, a traditional look, but it's not too formal, very simple. It adds some texture to the space, but it also really makes it feel warm and inviting when you walk in. It's nice because the walls don't feel so flat, but it's still at a space where you feel like it draws the walls out, but you still have room for artwork. But my favorite thing about this entryway is definitely the stairwell. The original stairwell was really dated. It was almost too traditional. So we ripped it all out and I designed this new stairwell that I just feel like has a little bit of a modern flair to it. It's super unique. And I just think it really sets the tone right when you walk in. Raise your hand if you want to break some stuff. When it comes to a fixer-upper... I'll do the uh, heavy lifting. ...they're a force to be reckoned with. It'll be a good day to stay here and watch chip work. Making renovation dreams come true. You guys ready to check out your fixer-upper? <gasps> wow! Oh, oh my God! Oh. You guys did awesome. <laughs> You're so amazing. Thank you. Chip and Joe are back. Yes! The brand new series of Fixer-Upper on HGTV.